We've heard a lot this week about the woman who was kidnapped in Philadelphia. She was found safe hundreds of miles away thanks to some impressive police work. It turns out police were able to find her because of a GPS tracking device placed in the kidnapper's vehicle by the car dealership. New at 6, News Channel 5, Shannon Royster takes a look at whether there's being done here and if it's even legal. Yes, Shannon, what do you have? Well, you know, that depends on a few things, like if it's in the contract and if it's made clear to the customer. If you buy a vehicle at AutoMasters on Thompson Lane in Nashville and you don't pay up, they have a plan in place. This is the GPS right in here. To get their property back. We do have little GPSs. They are inserted in each and every one of our vehicles before they are sold. Assistant manager Andrea Pedroza says lots of car dealers use them to track customers with poor credit history. It's actually a good benefit for us and the customers. Benefit for us in case cars get missing, stolen, or if they are late on their payment, we do use the GPS to locate and then we recover our vehicle. I need something a little bit more easier on gas. Jessica Holbert is in the market for a new car after hers was stolen. She thinks installing the tracking device in the vehicle is a great idea. In case something like that were to happen again or if somebody carjacked with my children in the car, I would want to be able to find my car and find my children. But are dealerships within their legal rights? We usually put two to three on each and every one of the vehicle. To do this, we talked to civil rights attorney Larry Crane. Well, understand that in Tennessee we've got a statute that makes it illegal to put a GPS tracking device on someone else's vehicle without their consent. Yes, has 78,000 miles. It Pedroza is says they have a separate contract just on the GPS system and they make it clear to customers what it is. In Tennessee, if it were disclosed, they would be they would be okay. Before it's used for tracking, the dealership has to try contacting the buyer. They can even use the GPS to shut the vehicle off. That would be our last to final step in recovering the vehicle. Some may say these dealerships are overstepping. Holbert, however, is thankful. My personal opinion, it just makes me feel safer. I don't feel like it's an invasion of privacy. Because now another question being raised is whether or not Philadelphia police acted within their legal rights to track this alleged kidnapper without his knowledge. Crane tells me the U.S. Supreme Court addressed that very issue in a case called U.S. versus Jones back in 2011. He tells me it was decided there is no reasonable expectation of privacy on public streets. Vicki? Thanks, Shannon. We also learned that dealerships can no longer track their vehicles after the car has been paid off. Most will remove the GPS system free of charge.